What's going on guys? My name is Dawson Red and I'm a proud Gryffindor. And I'm Dawson Red and I'm a proud Hufflepuff. And today we are at Target to do a what, Skylin? A walkthrough. A Harry Potter Hall walkthrough. All right, let's do it. So the only thing we found right now is this Harry Potter wizard chest for $59.99. It looks like it is a, only a Target. I got a display here showing what it looks like. It comes with uh, three wizards cards that you can collect. So that's pretty cool. And then of course they got some other Harry Potter stuff. But this is the only 20 year that I see. Oh, there's one right there. This is Hogwarts Fluffy Encounter, $39.99. You know what it would be cool? Oh, oh here's another 20, oh, no. 20 year anniversary Lego no, set. It's the Hogwarts <laughs> Chamber of Secrets and it is $119.99. So then we found what's going on? What is this? Honey Dukes. And the three broomsticks. And what is, how much is that? $79.99 for that one? Yeah. And then really we neat. also found Phoenix. Then we have Fox the Phoenix. And, and it comes one, with Dumbledore too. Dumbledore. And that one's $39.99. And then we have this down here. Which is also Lego. And that's $119.99. Alright, let's keep looking and see what else we can find. <gasps> we haven't found anything that we've been looking for. Over here. Look, there's we a got, huge oh, this is cool. We have a Hogwarts Express. Lego set, $63.99. That one's cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah? And then it's got a huge Harry and Hermione. Yeah, that one's neat too. That's a Harry and Hermione. That one's $119.99 for Harry and Hermione Granger. That's a big set. And it comes with fonts as well. It's pretty cool. Over in the book section, we have uh, illustrations by Jim K. We have Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Prisoner of Azkaban, Chamber of Secrets, Sorcerer's Stone. We also have the Mina Lima Sorcerer's Stone. Then we have some other unofficial books like the cookbook and stuff. And we have a couple paperbacks. And then down here we have the Hogwarts Library, which is 20% off right now, originally $31.18, which comes with a Fantastic oh, Beast, Quidditch Through the Ages, and Tales of the Beetle and the Bard. We have a Harry Potter spell book, a first child, it's off that. Oh, and we do have some bookmarks, bookmarks. for $4.99. With some character bookmarks and some house bookmarks. And these are $4.99. Actually, these are page clips. And then we found Harry Potter the Magical Movie Mode. This just recently came out. This Blu ray is $14.99 for the Sorcerer's Stone. 20 years of movie magic. And then they also have it on regular DVD as well for $12.99. So we found two Harry Potter shirts. We found a Hogwarts alumni shirt and a Platform nine and three quarter shirt. These are twelve ninety nine and twenty percent off right now. I found Harry Potter slippers, and on the bottom they say, "I swearly swear that I'm up to no good." I solemnly swear I'm up to no good. Mm -hmm. How much are these? Twelve dollars. So as we got to looking more, we found some Harry Potter socks. We got Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw. Nine three quarters. Uh, we have the Hogwarts crest and nine three quarters. And, and then, then we got little characters: Harry Potter, Dobby, Dumbledore, Hermione, Ron, and Harry. So then we have some character socks here as well. I want and this one. these are eight dollars for these. So Target was kind of a flop, so we are now at Books A Million to see if we can find any Harry Potter stuff here, right? Yeah. Yep, so let's go in here. We got a couple things at Target, but there wasn't a lot, so 
we're gonna go check out this place and see what they got because a lot of people don't know this but they do carry some Harry Potter stuff so let's go check it out the first Harry Potter thing we found was this from Guardian Leviosa Department 56 item this is twenty dollars now so we just found this bookmark it's Mirror of Erised with Harry seeing his parents and this is four ninety nine for this bookmark Harry Potter keep wrapping paper Oh, it's a I want these. These are three ninety nine for these. I want these. Then down here we've got a Harry Potter blanket. Map. We have the Marauders map and the Hogwarts Express. And then we have some platform nine and three quarters. Hedwig. Hogwarts Express yeah. neck pillows along with a Hedwig, Hedwig. neck pillow, <laughs> which is really cool. And then over here, we've got, I don't know what it's this is, Hogwarts Express Steel Model Kit. No, this is cool. This is the Hogwarts Express. I like this, Daddy. This is $29.99. have some magazines. Wait, what? That's Butterbeer. I found Butterbeer. plant. We have these Harry Potter cups. A notebook. Notebook. $12.99. A notebook. We have a notebook. This is cool. It's a Hogwarts acceptance letter notebook. Yeah. This is really neat. And this is twenty nine ninety nine. Oh my god. We have a journal with the Hogwarts castle on it. This is $14.99. We have some notepad stuff. This is a to-do list. These are $7.99 for these. It says Accio. Then we have some leather bookmarks. We have a uh, London to Hogwarts ticket along with a Hedwig delivering a letter. Then we have the sorting hat. And that too. She's that now. But so they put out and this is three consecutive. Yeah. Nineteen ninety nine. Have some coffee mugs. Yeah. Like no, books. I know. I, I yeah. Okay, cool. All right, great. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, you for helping you me. Yes, yeah. Twelve ninety nine. Down here we have a Hedwig plush. And she is now only twenty dollars. We have a Harry Potter snow globe with the Hogwarts Castle and the Hogwarts Express. Then we have some scarves. Ravenclaw and Slytherin it looks like here. Oh yeah, what you got there? You shouldn't have done that, huh? Then we have a Harry Potter Gryffindor stationery set. This is $34.95. And this is really cool. It comes with wax seals and stuff. Then we have a chocolate frog replica. This is really cool. This is $19.99. Down here we have a collectible set Hogwarts trunk. And this comes with Harry Potter wand pin, chocolate 3D uh, metal pin for the chocolate frog. And then it comes with some replicas, the acceptance letter, train ticket, Marauder's map, and a Quidditch match ticket. And then we have the Harry Potter American Editions hardback in the case. And then look what we found here. We found some Flying Cauldron Butterscotch Beer. Not butter beer, but butterscotch Daddy, beer. We might have to try these out. Look, then we the have books. the Harry Potter uh, Complete Series. I believe this is the 20th anniversary American edition softback. And this set is uh, $100. Over here we have a Niffler Lounge Fly backpack. This is really cool. Oh my God. And this is $75. We have a Dobby, the house elf, magical creatures. This is number two. I have number one, which is Hedwig, and this is number two. We have the Dark Arts collectible book set. It comes with Tom Riddle's diary and the Basilisk Fang pen. This is a really cool set. And I believe this is $39.95. So this is a really, really good deal. We have a Harry Potter Patronus umbrella. And it is $29.99. I 
We also have some beanies for $19.99, along with a bunch more bookmarks. And these bookmarks are from out of print, which they are no longer going to be carrying uh, Harry Potter items at out of print. So if you want one, now's your chance to get one. And we have different necklaces for Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, Gryffindor. These are $10.99. And then we have keychains. Here is I like Fox the Phoenix. Yeah. And these are $7.99. We have from the films uh, Harry Potter the Broom Collection. This is a really cool set. And these are $29.99. We also have the Jim K illustrations. Mina Lima. Quidditch through the ages, Tales of Beetle and the Bard. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. This is $12.99. They also have that book set that Target had. It comes with all three. And it is $38.97 here, so it's cheaper at Target. They have a Harry Potter Trivial Pursuit game. This is $49.95. They have a Harry Potter Death Eater Rising game. And this is $49.95. Just spotted this. This is cool. This is a Ministry of Magic mug. Crimes of Grindelwald, but it's self-stirring mug. It takes batteries and it stirs your coffee for you. It's really cool. We found the Harry Potter Holiday Magic official advent calendar with 25 days of surprises. And this does not have a price. These are new and I don't think they've been tagged. We have a few Funko Pops here. And these are valued at $10.99. This is really cool and something I've been looking for for quite a while. It's the Levitating Golden Snitch. And this is $75. We have some canvas prints. Like this one of Hogwarts. And this one is $29.99. This one's cool. It's 422nd Quidditch World Cup. I know it's going. I can see. I like this. Books a million, I hate to tell you this, but you have the Grim. The key cup with saucer and the Grim. $24.99. We have some Harry Potter t shirts. This is 422nd Quidditch World Cup. These are $19.99. Slytherin. Gryffindor. Along with Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff as well. Also $19.99. We also have the Invisibility Cloak, which Skylin got, I think a lot cheaper than this, but this is now $50. But this one comes with a really nice box. So guys, we just got back from shopping. Of course, we went to Target and Bam or Books A Million to do a haul. Originally, the plan was just to go to Target and search out some things that we had been seeing floating around on Instagram and other places of new items circulating into the stores. Unfortunately, we didn't find any of those items. So we only came out of Target with two things that um, I wanted to get my hands on. And then the rest, of course, came from BAM. So we're going to go over all the items that we got from this shopping trip and talk about each one of them. So let's get into it. So since Target was our first stop, we'll start there. I only found a couple of things that I really wanted to grab. Um, the first one being a t-shirt. Now I was going to get this t-shirt along with the other one they had, but they only had a small left in the other one. And this one, my wife was going to get one of, but they didn't have her size in this either. The selection was very limited, um, but they did happen to have my size. So I got this platform nine and three quarters t-shirt. This says the Hogwarts Express. This is a really cool shirt, and I can't wait to wear this uh, to the Wizarding World and uh, out and about. So it's a really cool one. Looks like this was printed by a company called Fifth Sun, and this was $12.99. And then of course they had a sale going on, uh, so got this a little bit cheaper than that. If I sound a little bit different today, that's because I'm like super congested and oh feel awful. The next thing that I got was a set of books that I've been wanting to get my hands on for quite a while and have not. Now Skylin has two of these books that she actually found at a I think like a yard sale for three dollars and she got both of them in a little box set. 
but this one comes with three books and this is the Hogwarts library uh, set of hardbacks and I grabbed this when I seen that it was 20% off I just had to here it is and this of course comes with the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them Quidditch Through the Ages and Tales of Beetle and the Bard all in hardback super nice got this really nice uh, slip cover that goes over all three of the books which are here and then here is the back so you can see what each one of those books look like now this book was $38.97 but then of course it was 20% off of that so not a bad deal and when I seen that I had to snatch them up so that was pretty much everything that we were able to find at Target. Everything else we kind of had or it was Lego sets that we weren't particularly looking to get uh, right at this moment. But if you're in my area and you happen to be looking for Legos, then of course my Target had you covered because there was plenty of Legos. So moving on to BAM or Books A Million, they had a ton of Harry Potter stuff as you've seen at the beginning of this video when we did the kind of tour of the place. We actually had went there a while back and we were looking for Harry Potter, the American edition hardbacks for Skyland. And when we were in there, we totally missed the entire Harry Potter section. I went in, I asked if they had Harry Potter stuff. They took me all the way to the back where uh, just those hardbacks were. And we literally didn't look anywhere else in the store. So we didn't know that they had all this stuff. And then actually Peter Kenneth, the Potter collector had posted a video of him kind of doing a shop tour and the one that he was at had all this stuff and I told my wife I said can you believe that that one has it and ours doesn't so today we was like you know what let's just drive over there and let's see if maybe we missed it since we really didn't look and of course we did they had a ton of stuff so this is what we got from BAM starting with bag number one I of course got some out of print bookmarks you never can have enough bookmarks and these are about to not be available anymore because out of print is not going to be carried any Harry Potter merchandise any longer. And so if you can get your hands on out of print stuff, such as bookmarks or t-shirts, you're going to want to go ahead and snatch those up because you're not going to be able to get them very much longer. So these are the three that they had there. So I made sure I went ahead and grabbed them. They were $4.99 each. We have the Mirror of Erised bookmark which is a very pretty bookmark really like the detail on this one then we have the quidditch bookmark and then last but not least we have the diagon alley bookmark with harry and mr hagrid himself so these are going to come in real handy because I'm in the process of rereading the books. So I'll be able to use these because right now I'm using a couple bookmarks that are, they're Harry Potter, but they're a little more on the childish side of bookmarks. And so I really am digging these. So I can't wait to start using these. Up next, we went with another t-shirt. You can't have too many Harry Potter inspired t-shirts to wear to the Wizarding World or to New York City, or just out and about when you're shopping for Harry Potter stuff like we were today, right? So. I picked up this 422nd Quidditch World Cup t-shirt. This I just fell in love with it as soon as I seen it. My wife pointed it out to me and said, hey, look at all these awesome shirts over here. And once I seen this one, I just knew I had to have it. I cannot wait to try this on and wear it out and about. I just really, really liked it and I thought it was a neat shirt. Now this shirt here came in at $19.99 and it was not on sale, but they had a ton of sizes, unlike Target. So of course I went ahead and grabbed one. Uh, they had some other shirts, but I didn't really care for them. But this one I fell in love with as soon as I seen it. The last item in this first bag is a book that I've been wanting to get my hands on and actually have been wanting to not only get my hands on this book, but there's another book that goes along with it that I would like to get my hands on too. And that book is the Wand Collection. But the one that we grabbed today that they had was the Harry Potter Broom Collection and other artifacts from the Wizarding World. These books are stunning and they have some amazing artwork within them along with all types of information on the different brooms and everything that you can imagine is in here. They have stuff on Quidditch and quaffles, all the 
cool stuff, right? Yeah, so really neat. So here's some information um, involving the Firebolt broomstick. If you flip through here, we'll even come across information about Quidditch and of course the different balls that you use in Quidditch, such as the Quaffle, the Bludger, and of course the Golden Snitch. And the artwork in here is absolutely stunning. And of course, on the front of this one, you have the Nimbus 2000, which I have displayed beautifully behind me. This book on the back says, every broom has a story of its own, and that is very true. This book costs $29.99. Moving on to the next bag and final bag is an item that once I seen it, I knew I had to grab it. This is the Noble Collection Harry Potter Chocolate Frog Replica. I've seen these float around for a while and I never knew if I really wanted to buy one or not but once I seen it in person I was like you know what I've got to grab this so of course that's exactly what I did so this is from the Noble Collection and this is a chocolate frog replica super cool and of course the card that comes inside is Mr. Dumbledore himself now this comes apart into three different pieces, almost like the magical creatures line that Noble Collection has. So you have the top of the chocolate frog, you have of course the card which has Mr. Owl's Dumbledore on it, and then you have the bottom that holds the frog. And I think the frog completely comes in and out, so you can display this in any way you want. So really neat. And I can't wait to get this on the shelf and display it really cool item and this was $19.99 so $20 for a replica chocolate frog from the Noble Collection. Now that is all the bags but that is not all the items I actually grabbed one more thing in this haul and it was a picture once I seen this I knew immediately I had to grab it to have hung on the walls on one of my walls I'm trying to do kind of a collage of different pictures and things from the wizarding world and once I seen this I knew that I wanted it to be a part of that kind of collage. So the print that I went with today was $17.99 and surprise surprise it is the 422nd Quidditch World Cup. Is this thing not cool? One I absolutely love the colors. It's vibrant and everything just pops. It's in your face. I just absolutely love it. It looks really cool. It says 422nd Quidditch World Cup, and then it has all the different teams, like England, USA, Bulgaria, India, Japan, Australia, Peru, Spain, just to name a few. They're all on here. And then at the bottom, it says the greatest magical event of the year. Is this not super neat? So of course this is going up on the wall and it's going to look absolutely amazing up there with all my other Harry Potter prints. So guys, all in all, between Target and Books A Million, today's haul cost me around $160, I do believe. Uh, give or take a few dollars, that's just kind of guessing. The BAM haul was around $126 and then you can add the t-shirt and the $30-something dollar book set uh, from Target plus tax. So I think it came out to around $170 max. Uh, give or take so really good find today target not so much but BAM had a ton of amazing stuff so if you have a BAM near you and you're looking for Harry Potter merchandise and maybe you don't have a Barnes and Noble next to you or your target doesn't really carry stuff like mine then go check them out because they have a ton of stuff that I didn't even know they had. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's video and you liked the stuff that we were able to grab. They had a ton of other stuff and of course I'm gonna go back and we're gonna do another haul, but we're gonna save that for another video. But these are the things that I really wanted to get my hands on today. So I hope you enjoy the tour and all the items that I grabbed. Guys, I hope you have an amazing day. Thank you again as always for all the love and support and we will see you again very soon. Knox doesn't quite understand me. Know what I mean?